Okay, so we're going to look here at how we create graphs in Illustrator using data files. So Illustrator won't import Excel files. We need to save those files out from Excel or another spreadsheet application as um, text files with uh, tabs to delimit the, the kind of columns from that spreadsheet. So tab delimited data files. Um, and that's what we've got here. So if we drop down to the toolbar on the, the left hand side you can see that we've got this column graph tool um, along with the other types of graph that we can create in Illustrator and we're just going to have a look at this column graph tool in the first instance to run through the basics so select the column graph tool and then drag out um, the area of the graph that you want to use okay now when we first get our graph up in Illustrator it will actually pop up um, with this single uh, black uh, box um, and then this spreadsheet that we can actually enter data manually into. Okay, but we can also import data. So if you come to this window and just hover over this bar, you can button. You can see that we've got the import data um, option here. So if we click import data and then jump um, to a, a data file. So I've got a text file, so a txt file um, with tab delimited data um, of country names, year and then data associated with those those countries. Okay, select that file then click open and you'll see that the, the spreadsheet within Illustrator will be populated. Okay, so if we want to now see those changes we need to check this apply changes button and we'll click that and you'll see straight away that we get these big big columns um, of data um, we're, which are actually mapping out the years um, that we've got here which we don't want to happen. So when Illustrator sees numbers um, in the data fields it actually um, maps them out to the graph. So we need to put uh, quotation marks in front of each of these numbers. Okay. So I just popped quotation marks in here and then if I click the checkbox you'll see that the years pop out of the, the graph data and actually um, into the side here. Um, I can transpose the data that I've got here as well so I can swap it so that the countries um, appear up here and that's this second button in in the uh, Illustrator's spreadsheet um, pop-up window. Okay, So if I click transpose it will transpose the data I can click the checkbox and you can see that the, the data swaps around and I get the years down here now and then the country names um, um, up here okay or rather the continent names up here okay so if I now just pop out of the spreadsheet there um, get the selection tool and right click I can actually come in and make some changes um, to the the graphs layout um, and design here. Um, the data option here brings up the data box that we were working in before um, and we're just going to have a quick look at this type option here and then some other options for how we change the color of our graph. Okay, If we hop into the, the type option you can see that we can change um, the different types of graph that we're, we're using Okay, and also where the value axis um, appears, so whether it's on the left or right hand side. Now there isn't a preview here, so we need to apply those changes before we can we can view them. Um, and then also um, we've got some options for the, the column width, which is what we're going to have a look at now. So if we change the column width, it's 110% at the moment, which is why these columns are overlapping. Um, we can actually change that um, to adjust the column width. Okay, if I just right click in here um, again and we'll just change this up one more time so at the moment I've got a column width of 75% and then a cluster width of, of 80% okay so if I now change this to 120% and this to 75% the columns will overlap um, and also notice I've got this option here for the first column in front which at the moment means that North America will be in front um, when I click OK. If I want to swap that round, um, I can uncheck that box and then South America will be in front. 
Now let's just have a quick look at how we change the colors um, of these windows. Now this is important because we need to use the direct selection tool to actually make a selection of each of these columns. Um, and the way we do that is by clicking on this first column here, then holding down the column of data, hold down the Alt key, and then we can click through to each of these options. Okay, And now I can just pop up to my swatches and I can either change that to a color um, or a pattern or a gradient if I want to. So I can actually put gradients into my graphs, um, patterns, um, or and you can see the transparency um, flows through here, or just a straight color. We're just going to stick with a, a color at the moment. And then come back and hold down the Alt key and we'll just change these other columns. So I'm clicking once for one selection, then holding down Alt and clicking to select the other boxes. Okay, so I can click through and change each of these. Okay, well, let's not have it the same color. Okay, um, one other point to mention as well is that if we want to change the sizes of, say, these key boxes up here. We can't use the, the regular transform tool. We have to use uh, the, the transform effect to actually change them. So if you select the direct selection tool again, and then just um, click on these. So I'm shift and clicking to select each of these. And we'll use the effect. And under the distort and transform option here, we have a transform effect. Um, and this will basically allow us to either scale we can turn on preview here, the horizontal um, and vertical widths independently or um, together. Okay, So you can see we can use that effect. If we use the scale tool to do that, we can't do it in this grouped way and it would actually um, scale these down to a central point um, and take away the alignment of the, the key colour um, with the, the actual uh, name itself. And you can see we can off offset these as well. So we can actually add an offset. So if you wanted your key color to be underneath the words we can we can do that too okay and we've also got um, some options for kind of rotation um, here as well in this effect okay so that's a, a different way of changing the scale well that's the way we would need to do it when we're working with graphs okay so that's uh, our quick run through of how to um, add import data and add it um, to a graph in illustrator and then also how to change some of the basic uh, functions <laughs>